Roar is oh, gonna no. be our second character of the match. Oh yeah, we oh he has a incinero shirt. The, yeah, Got probably could have guessed it. Yeah. Starting off on F D. <laughs> on Kazuya's F D. This is a This is a home field advantage if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Yeah, and already going trying to go for the uh trying to go for the uh infinite zero death. Yeah, and good on yeah, and that's good on Dark Wolves waiting that out. That's actually really a really active move, and a lot of people do a standard get up thinking that it's over and just get clipped by it and sent back off stage. It is. I think it has uh, like three main hitboxes. Yeah. Yeah, you have to shield it three times, almost like shield down smash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and right now Kru is like playing pretty patient. And Ooh. what a counter! Wasn't ready with the tech, but still gonna be able to make it back. And I have to say, Dark Blue is very fortunate he did not get hit by that second hit of up B from Incinero because that would have gotten the uh, counter bonus. Yeah, no, it super would have killed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kairu taking that stock. Ooh, one, oh, one for the one for the cannon kick. Uh, didn't get it. There we go. That was good spacing by Dark Blue's using that uh, crouch movement. All right. Yeah. Yeah, he's doing the thing, and then he got a triple up here. You know, I always like to call Incineroar like a slow version of Fox. Mostly because he does very similar things to Fox, just like on a heavyweight character. Oh, he missed the, the drag down there and instead gave Kairu rage. Or, not rage. Uh, whatever Incineroar's counter is called. Revenge. Yeah, you got him revenge. Whoa, yeah, and that, so, um, funny thing about the, the command, the rage rock command grab from uh, Kazuya. It has invincibility and super armor. Mm -hmm. Invincible and star super, uh, startup and super armor. That's uh, insane. Up e? Yeah, okay. And, yeah, you know, get sucked by K. Ru. Um, you know, Dark Blizzard has been getting a little bit outpaced, right? I feel like he's been trading a lot with K. Ru, and K. Ru's kind of been coming out on top, end, but now we finally have an even game. Since pretty much uh, since the game started. Mm hmm. Ooh, there we go. Dark Blues has been struggling to get off the ledge a little bit so far in this in this match. Uh-oh. Oh, he doesn't still have his jump. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and nice. good wait. Nice, at the re revenge. Ooh. <gasps> oh, yeah, immediately mashed out because he did not. Oh, yeah. He's good jump out of the command grab. You know, that command grab actually might end his stock if he gets... Oh... Wow. It didn't that end it, but it sure did like 70%. Not gonna lie, that wasn't even close. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm very he just exploded. And I'm very surprised off the ledge that he didn't do the command right? Because mm -hmm. um, he was immediately in Rage Art and he was He was in he was in Rage Art, that last stock, he was in Rage Art and you know, you, you caught Kru uh doing his neutral B, right? And I was I was surprised he didn't just Immediately command grab. Yeah, I think that he might have. Uh, you know, he might have tried to. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was that was it. That was the uh, DP motion command grab. But those couple extra frames doing the the motion input. Yeah. Yeah, but good on K. We're keeping it together. Um, pretty much is outpacing Dark Blues, right? Uh, making it very hard for him to come back on stage. And like those well time counters, definitely uh, definitely got miles off of that. Yeah, because the thing about Kazuya is, like, those combos have to be tight, and since Incineroar's counters frame three, he could just mash it if he, if he thinks you're, if he doesn't believe in combo skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we saw there, uh, Dark Blue's only got the regular Wind God Fist, and Keiru was ready with the revenge. Yeah. And this Nair, man, this Nair, yeah, he went for it again. And that's not taking the stock. Kazuya's heavy. Ooh, was not ready for... Uh, Kru to come on stage with the up B. and now Dark Blues is down a whole Rage Art, uh, which put in a lot of work last last match. Yeah, and right now uh, Dark Blues is whiffing a lot, right? Mm -hmm. And he's whiffing a lot in Incineroar's face. And one thing you don't want to do in front of Incineroar is whiff, right? Because Incineroar has that command grab, and it can do a lot of damage. And that also uh, also super armor startup. So. Yeah, yeah, no. I feel like you really got to space yourself against Incineroar. Yeah, okay. Yeah, again, right, that punish. 
Yeah, and then, like, you know, his combo strings aren't clean, and Kaver doesn't believe. He He's doesn't. like, I'm gonna keep mass counter. I don't believe in your, I don't believe in your combos, bro. You haven't infinite in me once, <laughs> so just keep mashing down B. Mm -hmm. And once again, Dark Blue's losing his uh, second stock right around 100%, not going to be able to get a Rage Art. And that could have been bad, that down tilt. Yeah, and he waiting it out and not getting the input that he wanted to. And K were very patient, right? I think he's definitely waiting for Dark Blue's to press a button. That's pretty much been the whole set, just mm -hmm. him waiting for Dark Blue's to press a button and just punching accordingly. And I think we can start to see... Uh, Ooh, he's ready with the tech that time. Yeah, but... That counter, yeah, and that counter, um, countering the up B, right? Um, a lot of people don't, a lot of characters can't really challenge the up B like that from, from a lot of angles. Mm -hmm. And uh, what he was doing is just dropping down and countering, right? Even if he doesn't take the stock, once he gets back on stage, he's going to have uh, revenge. And that's going to, you know, even with a heavy character like Kazuya, taking your stock generally early, earlier compared to other characters. Yeah, no, and Sinero's got some fantastic kill power.